Right. Okay, so we've just finished the driving test, the, the mock test. Mm. We've done, uh, we actually, I made him do the whole route via Satnav. There was a reason behind that and I needed to clarify a couple of things to myself as well. So we finished, I haven't told uh, Sam the result yet. So I'm gonna ask Sam now, how well do you think you did? Uh, I think I failed. I think I made a, a couple of mistakes uh, that might be serious ones. Okay. Generally it was okay, but... Well, so tell me what you think. Where do you think you went wrong? Uh, so a couple of areas. I think the first first part when we, when we set off, I wasn't sure that the, the, there was a gap between the cars on mm -hmm. the, the perpendicular road, but it, I was a bit unsure whether I should have gone through it, so I waited and that mm -hmm. might have been too much hesitation, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, next part was probably my manoeuvre at the Tesco car park. Mm -hmm. I rushed it a little bit because I saw a few cars coming in behind me, so I didn't quite get it in line. Um, it, the manoeuvre might have actually come out okay. I think I was, might have just been in the lines, mm -hmm. um, but wasn't in, as in control as it should have been. Mm -hmm. And then there was a roundabout, going back to observation, a mini roundabout that I, by now I didn't look over my shoulder and kind of check the right-hand side road out. So I'm sure you, you saw that as well. Mm -hmm. um, there might have been a couple of things I don't know, but. So not most of it, most of it, the driving was okay, but I think probably two or three of those things okay. would have been a fail. Shall I tell you the result of your driving test? Yeah, go on. Then. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, minus. We had four minus. Okay, so four mm. faults. Yeah. Four minus, which could constitute any any one of them, can constitute a fail mm -hmm. if it's if it develops further. Yeah. In terms of did you pass or fail on this attempt, you're unsuccessful. Mm. Okay. Do you understand exactly where it happened? Where do you think the most serious mistake was? Uh, the roundabout? Yes. Yeah. The mini roundabout. The mini roundabout where I didn't look to the side road. Yeah. The right. yeah. yeah. So what I call a shoulder yeah. check. Yeah. I, I knew it as I did it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's where you would have failed your driving test, irrespective mm. of no car coming down that road. Yeah. That's the, everything else. There was a, a couple of issues. So when you when you were driving up towards uh, the Tesco Morris, the Tesco car park, mm. when the sat nav said turn right, you did a lane change. You didn't look into your blind spot. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. That's your yeah. observations. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you were going along this road, and we, when we got to the end, when the sat nav said turn left, then second left again, you kept your left signal on when you did your lane change, but you went past a nursing home. At the traffic lights, uh, yeah, yeah, with your left signal right on, right next to the bloody traffic yeah. lights. Yeah. If you cancelled your signal and then reapplied it, which mm -hmm. wasn't relevant, yeah. you didn't even need to signal there. You were in your lane. Mm -hmm. You could have just come into your left lane, gone to traffic lights. Okay, so I got you on that first. That was the first thing, the signal. The second one was obviously when you were changing direction. Use of speed. You're travelling at twenty when the sat, when the car was telling you twenty. Mm. Down by the. Uh, roundabout. Do you know when we were coming back where the sat nav said turn right then left? Or foundry approach? It's all a bit of a blur to be honest. Okay, <laughs> yeah. No worries. Yeah. Okay, so, but, mm -hmm. but in terms of what I want to discuss with you, okay, is the roundabout, the mini roundabout. Mm. Not the one that you missed observations on. Mm -hmm. The other one that told you, take the second exit, go ahead, turn right. When you signal right. Mm. Okay, I have a little issue with that. Mm. Okay. Do you understand what my problem was with that? Can you remember what was going around the roundabout? Not particularly, to be honest. Okay, no, you are approaching the roundabout. As you are approaching the roundabout, the sat nav said, take the second exit, mm. uh, go ahead, mm. and you signal right, because I've taught you to signal right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what you did there was correct. Mm. What was on the roundabout when you were turning? Another car? No, no. Okay, where was he going? Where did he come from? He come from your left and mm. he was turning right. So if he's on your left and he's turning right, where's he going? My direction. Okay. Where I'm coming from. What if he's not? What if he's not? How would you know? Just wait for him to see where he goes. And what did you do? Well, I assumed he's going that way from his... Uh, have mm. you seen the film The Rock? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you remember what Sean Connery says? I don't remember the quote, but I know. Yeah. I can, I know Do you what understand you what mean. I'm saying to you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you've got to be careful. Mm -hmm. You're pulling off something that's 50 50. Mm -hmm. All he has to do is swing that steering wheel and he's inside your door. Yeah. 
what do you think would have been the safest thing to do? Let him get off the roundabout, I think. Yeah. Mm. So was he the problem? And then you had another problem, which was the second car. Because one car, the taxi was turning right, then the other mm. car joined him. Mm. You you managed your turn completely fine. You didn't affect anybody. But this, it becomes like a, almost a hundred percent, almost guaranteed fail. That tells me your observations mm. are not accurate. You're not processing what could go wrong. So he could do a full U-turn on a roundabout. Mm. You've had it. This is going to go into your car. He's on your right. It's your fault. So although it didn't develop into a fault, mm -hmm. potentially it could have been done. a fault. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then finally, um, we got down to South Parkway, the big roundabout, and you were going ahead, second exit. Try and keep the car to the left. Yeah, yeah, I knew that one. Just yeah. a silly mistake, no mm. big deal. You know, it's not I'm big enough for two cars. Halfway, halfway yeah. around the roundabout. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. right, yeah. Other than that, we didn't do too bad, we got four minors. Considering you've only been with me for two weeks, I think that is remarkable. I yeah. think you did very we'll well. We'll I genuinely think that mm. was good. In terms of where we are, do you understand what we need to fix? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a stupid mistake. It's stuff you know, but just, yeah. yeah. You know, you should make it consistent. A another thing yeah. I've noticed in terms of, I've sent you an email, uh, uh, I've emailed the, the test results to you. Mm. Do you know one thing else I've noticed with your driving, which, you know, once uh, I put all this together and kind of send you the, the video, you'll understand is. Do you know the first time you went to the roundabout where you where you went wrong and the sat nav rerouted you back to the roundabout? Mm. I was hoping it take you back. That's why I said you're gonna take the next route. Then I thought no, let the sat nav uh, take you, you back there. Mm. There's something I want to see. You know the first time it took you to the uh, to the roundabout. You know your routine that you applied. Mm. It was late. The second time it was perfect. Yeah, cause it, yeah. because you knew where you were going. Yeah, 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 you knew where you were going. Yeah. So subconsciously, as I'm driving. I know there's a roundabout at the top of the road. Mm. I'm timing what I need to do. Yeah, yeah. And you're getting a little close, and then you haven't got enough time to process. Mm -hmm. It's then affecting your judgment. So yeah. you're getting to the roundabout, you're looking, and when you look, you're assessing everything with the skill level that you have. Mm. And you haven't got enough skill level yet to process it quick enough to have all the, the, the routine of who could be doing what, where they could be doing what. Yeah. yeah. So as you're approaching the first roundabout, when you signal left, I would have gone over the hatch marking. You're going pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I like the way you came in, but I would have gone over it. Okay. Do you know, yeah. you get yourself in a position early enough. When you come onto the roundabout, you're doing okay. But as you got onto the first roundabout, the big, when you went up to 70 miles an hour, mm. then we got to the second roundabout, and then we were turning left for the Tesco roundabout. Yeah. So when you turned left for the, for the the towards Tesco, nothing was stopping you looking to your right. Mm -hmm. It's then you literally you got to around about check your mirror, think, oh, I'm going this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you're turning, you could have just glanced and then looked and away, on. Yeah. and it would have given you like an opinion of the road. Mm -hmm. That's one thing you're weak with. You're not you're not gauging what's going on on the road. You you follow the instruction correctly. Yeah, yeah. Now the only thing with your instructions, what you're doing is the sat nav. You're looking and you're applying. There's no processing. You're not aware of where you are on the sat nav. Mm -hmm. as it's telling you what to do. You should know exactly where you are in relation to the sat nav on the road that you're on. So you should know right now where we're parked, it looks like a dead end at the end of the road. Mm -hmm. That means it has to, if I'm gonna tell you to follow the road down, it means there must be a left or right turn where we can turn the car around. Mm -hmm. Subconsciously, that needs to be in your mind. Similarly, you know, you put some toast on, you stick some toast on, you turn the toast on number five, so it's, it's making it very quickly. And you're putting some tea bags in your tea or something. So subconsciously, you know, you've got your toast on so you don't want to burn it mm -hmm. and you're dealing with your tea. So as you're approaching the roundabout, what you also want to do is understand that, look, I'm going to get to another roundabout quickly and I want to see what's going on. So while I'm driving the car, I'm looking at the top instruction of my sat nav. Yeah. It's telling me what to do so I know subconsciously I need to understand that. Now it's going to give you like 900 yards or 600 yards, whatever it tells you to do. So if it's telling you, oh, in, in 800 yards, you're turning left. 800 yards is about 80 car spaces. Mm -hmm. So it's a fair distance away. But as you're approaching, you'll see the countdown marker. You'll then understand some sort of reference. Yeah, okay. Do you yeah. understand what yeah. I'm saying to you? Yeah, yeah, because I, well, yeah. I and that, it, you kind of zone out, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do, we need to get that fixed for your test. Mm -hmm. We need to fix your sort of understanding of roundabouts. So it's like you're coming on, now when you said to me, oh, at this road, or oh, you know, I felt you were hesitating there. Mm. Were you hesitating? No, I was, I was being safe. I, 
So, so, so did you have ample opportunity to go and you didn't take it? I could have gone, whether it was the right thing to do or not. I don't well, I'm know. asking you, what would you think? Uh, no, I, I was. I, I thought about it and then I, I, I'm happy with my decision not to go, I reckon. Yeah, it was I'm a correct gonna, decision. Stick to that, you yeah. couldn't have gone. Where, where mm -hmm. would you have gone? How would you have made that turn? Well, yeah, you'd have ended up going slaloming through yes. it. Which, uh, so yeah. the problem we had was the car that was obstructing you. It was the white car. Before. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So if he wasn't there, you would have I made your turn. Because the black that's car tried to reverse to, to give me more space, right, yeah. and then I was like, yeah. "Oh, do I go?" But I was like, "No, it's still not right." So yeah. That's so not my place on the road. reasonably, were you being hesitant? No. That's correct. No. So there was no problem with that. So mm -hmm. that wasn't hesitation there. Mm -hmm. All it was, it was unsafe because yeah. it was unsafe. You couldn't go. Yeah. So the only thing I've really collared you on is the roundabout, roundabout. because like, there was nobody there. I don't I knew it as I went over it, I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. so now what we need to do, we need to get this fixed. Yeah. Yeah.